I'm on a quest to find the best D1 college basketball experience in Massachusetts, so I found myself in Lowell once again, this time at the Songus Center, as the UMass Lowell Riverhawks take on the New Hampshire Wildcats in an American East matchup. UML's Costello Center is tied for last place, but can their hockey arena do any better? This is one of two schools, the other being Merrimack College, that we'll be reviewing twice for each one of their stadiums that they play games at. There was a big parking garage right next door, it was convenient and it only cost me $10, so the parking's gonna get a 9 out of 10. You can't really tell, but this campus for UMass Lowell is all mill buildings, so they blend in with the rest of the brick architecture of the city of Lowell. That being said, you can't really tell that you're anywhere near a campus, especially because all the buildings are on the other side of the Songus Center. Any visitor going to visit UMass Lowell is not going to instinctually know that this is a campus right here because all they're going to see are the same brick buildings they see elsewhere around the city. So even though you are close to the center of Lowell, you're not really going to see a campus. It's kind of similar to Northeastern in that way, so it's going to get a 6 out of 10. The floor they put down here at Songa Center is way better than the one at Costello's, but I personally believe that their floor should be 15 feet further to my left from where I was sitting to take advantage of that lower bowl. It feels like 33% of the seats that they're trying to populate feel useless. They're just too far away to really be relevant. You wouldn't want to sit there because you're behind the band. And after Northeastern, every other Jumbotron is going to feel lame by comparison, so their stadium is going to get an 8. Songus is a beautiful, clean, and modern building. Their concourse was great. They had displays everywhere. They have lots of Lowell athletic stuff, like this super cool Lowell hockey jersey display. And this is also the most legit stadium that we've been to so far. It's like a mini TD garden in there. So they're going to get a 10 out of 10 for facilities. Lowell is that neighborhood college for people who have no connection to the college to take their kids to sporting events at. Like if the Celtics and Bruins are too expensive for you, come check out the Riverhawks. It's going to be cheaper and you're still going to get a sports experience. The Songa Center for this game was filled with kids and adults, not as many college students as I was really expecting. Although most people that were there were either wearing UNH or UMass Lowell gear. It didn't really feel like, however, most people were there to watch U at Mass Lowell and UNH basketball. They were just there to watch basketball with their kids. Despite all that, they still did all the things that you expect a school to do, like the dance team and the cheerleaders and the fan games and whatnot. And this was the largest crowd we've seen so far, so the atmosphere is going to get a 7. The player intros were cool, they had the Hockey East lighting everywhere, a pre-game hype video, the band was playing Seven Nation Army, and the only downside was that the announcer's mic was a little too quiet, so I'm going to give it a 7. The jerseys were not notable, but not offensive, they were wearing the same ones that we saw them wear against UMBC, and UNH's were pretty normal, so they're also going to get a 7 for their uniforms. I couldn't really tell if there was a designated student section from where I was sitting, but there were no chants or cheers going on, no let's go defense or anything like that. But a band and a cheer team will always net you a 5, so with this large crowd, we're going to give the student section a 6. The seating was normal, it was kind of cramped, but I'm kind of a bigger guy, and everything felt far away because it's a hockey arena similar to BC, so it's going to get a 7. There was a concession stand on every corner. The food was good. They had a fantastic alcohol selection. They had Dippin' Dots. They had souvenir cups. Albeit, it was all a little bit expensive, so it's going to get a 9 out of 10. Despite an incredible 25 points coming off the bench for Quinton Mincy, the Riverhawks couldn't hold off the relentless onslaught of scoring from Clarence Daniels and Jackson Baker, as the Wildcats grab a win 89-73. All in all, the Songa Center is going to score a 76, falling two points short of Holy Cross for first place. Check out the rest of the videos on the series on my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.